up and all right guys so time for the live stream i hope y'all enjoying uh, your day out there it looks to be nice here in columbus ohio i'm here at costume holiday house i got my friend here jade she's going to be manning the camera and i've got my son ronaldo here and uh, he is agreed to allow me to face paint him. So thankfully, my kids don't hate me after all these years. <laughs> um, hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, asked out there for some feedback as to what kind of demos people want to do. And, and the very first one was a zombie. And I'm very comfortable with zombies. So uh, <laughs> hi, Samantha. Thanks for joining us. And uh, so yeah, so let's get it rolling. I want to show everybody what I'm using today. I've got these face paints down here. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. My camera's kind of wonky. I use water-based paints. And um, I'll be using the good old sponges here. Uh, just a half sponge. I, I'm kind of fat fingered and it took me a long time to use a half, learn how to use a half sponge. So um, even if you quarter them, uh, that's all right too. And I'll be using, for the most part today, a six round brush. Tyler, you're awesome too, man. Dude, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so I'm gonna hand over the camera to Jade. Jade, I don't know how, uh, you guys will have to bear with me. Here we go. I'll let you do that. Okay, so I have water-based paints. Um, if anybody can take a guess on uh, what to, what it you know uses to activate them, that would be water. So I'm going to use a little bit of water, and I'm going to go in with my sponge with my yellow here. Now, I like yellow zombies. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of partial to it. I'm going to come around this way here, kind of finding the best way to do this here. And you just want to load up your sponge and just have fun with it. It's a, this doesn't have to be precise. You just got to get color on. I, I like zombies. We're going to do a little zo happy little zombie here. Mm. I'm just going to tap it on. You see right here, there is, a, it's kind of a bubbling up, and that just means you got too much water on that. So you could just take the other end and okay. stipple that out right there. Relax think, your face. Relax that, your face. I'm not beating you up. It's okay. Not yet. I think I figured out how to flip this around so I can do this easier. <laughs> Let me see. All right. And I'm just going to stick probably uh -huh. with a half face zombie today. There we go. So uh, my son is is nice enough to come here and let me do this to him today. So I think I'll be nice enough and just only do a half face for him. So we got the yellow laid down. Now what I want to do is I want to do some um, shading areas. So. Just with the same sponge, the other side though, I'm gonna dip it into my water and I'm gonna go into a brown, cause I like brown. It just screams death and decay, you know? Now for me, when I do the eye, I always like to go right through the middle of the eyebrow. It creates the illusion that there's, the eyebrow is not where it is. And so that's what I wanna do. So I'm gonna go halfway through the eyebrow, holding my sponge at a 45 degree angle, doing a little X shape. So his eyebrow's going that way and I'm gonna go that way. And from there, I'm just going to bring that down and then color the inside of that eye. It's pretty easy. And you can get as involved as you want with this. I'm just doing a quick zombie look. This could be for your haunted house. This could be for face pain and a cue line. This could be a private appointment. It could be anything. I'm going to go right here. He needs a little decay on his nose. He needs a little uh, contouring right there and on his cheek. Bring that down a little bit. And then I can take the yellow and fade it out a little bit. I'm gonna bring that up there. All right, so now we've got the shading pretty much down. I'm gonna go maybe just a little bit right here. All right. Now me, I, I have to see lines. I need to know where I'm going. So some people would argue that they don't want to use the black right now. I'm going to go ahead and go and use the black. So I'm going to create all my lines here. So his little eye brow 
workout area. We're going to go up there and bring that down. Give them a couple of flicks here. Give them some droopy skin. Okay. Again, just with a six inch round or six inch, a six round. And I'm going to bring that up here. So there's almost like a continued line right there. Okay. Really give it some definition. I'm going to bring that down and carve out his temple. And then there's where his cheek goes. And then we can just kind of finish that off like that. All right. Isabella's on. Hi, Isabella. How you doing, love? <laughs> All right. So as far as teeth are concerned, um, teeth kind of go backwards this way. I'm going to use my black and make some lines. We're going to draw some happy little teeth here. And then give a little curve here. Curve up here. Curve up here. <laughs> Sherry says, paint me like one of your zombies. These. <laughs> <laughs> a zombie bee. All right. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to bring this out. And Jessica and says, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, instead of, bring that over and do that. Start at the top. Start at the top. And that way it gives it illusion. It's sitting behind each other. Again. There. There. And they get smaller and smaller. And Isabella said, hi, Bobby Joe. Hi, Isabella. I'm going to make a little <laughs> half circle around this spot. And that will give me the illusion that it just continues on back into the, uh, the abyss. The zombie mouth abyss. Mo says, happy little zombies. Happy, of course. It's always a good day for happy little zombies, isn't it? We're going to make the nose there a little rotting flesh. And I'm going to bring this this way. This is where the fun is because I'm just making squiggly, happy, squiggly lines right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just happy squiggly lines. There we go. <laughs> Sheree Buxton, hashtag Miss Living Dead Columbus approves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I absolutely love Miss Living Dead. I get asked every year to be a judge and it is the most fun competition I have ever been a part of in my entire life. You guys have not experienced it. You need to make sure you do that this year because it is fan freaking tastic. Fabulous show. And it's all for charity. So how can you not go? Really? Come on, guys. Okay. So now I've got my lines down and now, now I kind of know where I'm going with it. I'm going to just take my same bra, my same sponge because I'm dirty like that. And I'm going to go in my white and just very lightly give it a little bit of highlights here. And you need that Bob Ross mix in the background. Mm -hmm. My Miss Bob, my Miss Ross. A little bit of highlights here. And we adore you so much. Come see us this year. <laughs> Thank you. It's all from uh, Cherie. Nice, nice. All right, so just a little bit of highlights. Lots of love. <laughs> okay, let's give zombie some gums. You can use you can use orange, you can use whatever color make you happy. I'm just going to go right around here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It is a zombie after all. Around here, making some happy little gums. Kind of grossness here. All right. Maybe we'll add a little dark purple here. Again, you can get us in depth with this as you want. I'm gonna go in the whites now. I'm just color in some of the teeth here. Doesn't have to be perfect. It is a zombie after all. You don't need to have perfect clean teeth. Uh, perfect clean teeth and a zombie, I don't think, go together. Um, I don't know many zombies out there who are really big into dental hygiene. I've never seen a zombie on Walking Dead brush your teeth, so. 
Hey, and if you have, send me that clip. I think that would be funny. <laughs> Are they flossing to get the dead out? Oh, yeah, right? Getting those little pieces of skin and brains out of there. This, I'm just going to use a little bit of white and go around up here. A little happy little gum line there. We can even take the white over here and just create some highlights. And this is all stuff, believe it or not, you can find here at Costume Holiday House. They have all the water-based paints, they have the sponges, they have the brushes, they have everything you need. So if you're looking to get into some of this, and you want to try this look out, just come on by. Pick, pick it up, they've got it here, they'll help you out. They'll show you what's good, what's not good, and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. We've got a little bit more black in there, so I'm going to mix my black with my red here. that on through here and then make some cracks here really easy really simple you don't have to make it crazy in depth and do some little Age lines here. <laughs> Lauren's on. What's up, Lauren? All my homies are coming out to play with us today. Let's see over here. Maybe we'll give him some stitches here. How about that? Like a zombie mask. Lauren says, hi, sweetie. I like doing stitches these big ways, the uh -huh. big fat stitches like that, because I think they're more visually effective. Um, when you do these little itty bitty tiny tick marks, yeah, it's very realistic, but from afar, you really, really can't see it. It doesn't have that effect. So I like doing really big, thick lines for my stitches. Um, Who else would it be, Lauren, but me? <laughs> I'm just gonna give these stitches a little white highlight here. A little bit over there. Just so that you can see it. Maybe a little highlight on these little cracks here. Lauren, I said hi. <laughs> Suzanne's here with us and she says hi to Lauren. We've got all the face painters in Ohio watching today. <laughs> I'm here for supplies. <laughs> Cherie says your stitches show up beautifully in pictures too. <laughs> and Lauren well, says that you. she misses misses everyone. <laughs> I'm just doing nothing really. That's all I'm doing. A lot of this motion. I don't really know what it does, but it does create some lines, I guess, right? Some pretty effects. Now from here, you can leave it like that, or you can actually get gory. I'm a gore girl. I like the gore, so I'm gonna pick up some red here and load up my brush really, really good. And give I hear some bloody look. A little blood never hurt anybody, right? And that's always fun. Now from here you can go, you can call it in at quits right there. You want to add a little bit more texture? You can just take your stipple sponge. I'm gonna dip it in my water, blood, my red, and then see, 
that's how how it's all loaded up there got some nice red on there and just I'm gonna go take that go in the black happy little blood splatter all right and that's all I think I'm gonna do for this little half face zombie I appreciate everybody coming in doing this little tutorial I appreciate my son letting me torture him by putting him uh, in the seat and putting him live on Facebook um, I hope this doesn't scare him away from his girlfriend um, <laughs> Yeah, and thanks for joining us. Take care, everybody, and I hope to see y'all here at Costume Holiday House. See you tomorrow.